See, that's just a hook. Good, now from there, turn up and then swing on that stick on the way down. Oh my God. Really good. Look at that, bro. Hello, and welcome back to GG Golf. Today is a good day. Today we're gonna to go down, um, we're actually driving, well, I'm driving about two hours to see a man called Chris. And today we're gonna to have a golf lesson. I'm gonna be here about two hours. We will literally leave the camera rolling. So I feel like a lot of people out there have got the same problem as me. We come over the top, we slice the ball. I've done very well getting my handicap down with the swing that I've got, but I think my chipping and putting helps me a lot. It's my lesson, my lesson is your lesson. And yeah, I might save you a few quid and you might not actually have to buy your own lesson. You never know, this could help you massively. I hope it does. Also got an exciting video coming up. We are doing the BMW Celebrity Pro-Am. I'm playing with Chris Hughes and Jimmy Nesbitt, who's a big actor, my mom has told me. So yeah, let's get down there, let's get a lesson done and hopefully we're smiling on the way back. Right, so we're down here, nice range. We're in, uh, where are we? Luton. Luton, fucking hell, that is a long drive for a lesson. Um, but yeah, we're gonna crack on. I'm just gonna let the um, camera roll and we're just gonna get on with it. Um, right, so Chris, my swing. Yeah. I'm just gonna show you my little foot tap swing, which everyone bangs on about on, uh, on the channel. And it's literally, so I'll set up like that. I get Make a bit. Sure that target right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah, so we aim at the 150. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll come on the back look a bit. No, it's not, I don't know how windy it is. I think we need the wind mic thing, shield. I'm straight in the wind here. Like we're straight in the wind. I don't know what it's gonna be like for the sound. So yeah, my swing's like, I get it there. <laughs> I don't know where this foot taps came from, but. See, that's just a hook, it's just, it's just shit in it. Yeah. Low point's a little early, do a couple more. Let's record a couple now. Can you loosen up, yeah? Oh yeah, would be fine, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's just as weird. <sighs> this way you want to come for a lesson, you want to hit it shit. So at the oh, end, obviously, but bad one. he looks good. <laughs> This is it, get a driver out. They're still getting down there, do you know what I mean? But if my, I feel like my iron play is just, this is it, it's just a bit shit, to be honest with you. Yeah. Where? What is that, seven? Oh, maybe, I'm in a five iron. No wonder I can't hit the fucking ball. I definitely can't hit that. What's this one? See, this just frightens me before I even hit the ball. Well, good, well, that's what we want. We don't want you to hit being comfortable. Seven irons, just like, uh oh. So, for me, that's exactly what would normally happen, right? I've hit the ball, nailed it. Yeah. But look, if I was going for a green there, I've missed the green right. Like, yeah. and that is where all the up and downs, like, either savers. So am I there shooting? A lot of good stuff in that move from a face on perspective. Keep going, a couple more, mate. I'm gonna just... So I'm, I'm either shooting like low, because I've got on the I've got up and down, or I'm shooting high. Well, you're rotating the torso a lot better than you used to. Nah. That's good. That was a good one to watch, because that's a miss, right? So let's just look at it, right? So. Setup's perfectly neutral, yeah. and from a face-on perspective, you ask me about the grip, it's tidy. So, so I think it needs to be more like, I see a lot of people like, like this. No, so, okay, so this, you answer this question yourself. So this is the most important thing. So if you were to move, get your hands on, if you were to move your right hand further over, like you just asked me, right? Yeah. So naturally, if you let the arm hang off the shoulder, naturally, drop it, yeah. right? Most people's hands will hang between 30 and 45 degrees inwards, right? Nice. So if you were to hold the grip, as you just were, 
and you were to move this more over, yeah. naturally this arm is going to want to sit back to where it hangs, which is not over there, it, sit, it wants to hang there. So what's that going to do to the face? Open the face. And which way do you miss it usually? Right. So why the hell would you move that over? This yeah. doesn't make sense, right? And you can, don't be one dimensional with your grip. It's okay to change it. Yeah. So, you know, all tall players of different grips, different holds, as long as it matches the face alignments as we're swinging and your wrist conditions. So I'm like, just relax. So the way you and just grip, like, in my opinion, is absolutely fine. Just like there. You've got a very neutral left hand. So we can see that where if you open it up, yeah, it sits just through the base of the fingers, sits yeah. over the top. And again, if you take your left hand off and let it hang off your shoulder, look, see how that sits? Yeah. You're about a 30 degree inward hanger off the shoulder. So slightly internal in the shoulder. And as you hold it, that's pretty neutral. So if you take all the tension out of it, it's not twisting the face. Yeah. So you're giving yourself a chance. That's relatively neutral. And for me, you're slightly strong in the right hand, but I definitely wouldn't weaken it if you're someone who hits right, it. Right, yeah, yeah. It just yeah. makes no sense. Yeah? Right, so yeah. let's make it functional. So let's look at the... So face on perspective, which is why I keep asking yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Grip's perfect. Right. If anything, that right hand, because you've got it in your mind, you're going this way yeah, too yeah, much. Yeah, it can actually be all the way. So you could go the other way, especially if you want to move right to left bias, yeah? Okay. So play around with that yourself. But I'm not gonna, I'm not one to change yeah, grips, yeah, it's yeah. too one dimensional. So taking it away, there's your little tap, doesn't bother me whatsoever, it's just a trigger. We're gonna get rid of that. Absolutely fine. This I love, right. you didn't used to turn like that. Right, so okay. what I'm looking at for you is that left, the seam line on your t-shirt, yeah. that needs to make sure it gets to the ball. That means your torso is effectively rotated to the ball. So you can see my seam line gets round to the ball. Right, okay, yeah. What you used to do is slide the hip so much and tilt that you never used to actually wind up in the torso. Okay. So that's really good. As we come down, long term, we talked about that spin. There's still not enough pressure shift this way. No, there's not. It's, it's, but you I can did see that it. before in that other swing. Yeah, you, but that's, what, that's the thing that's going to stop that club from swinging over. So this was a miss hit. So club base alignments, really good. Still that pronation, so the club, at this point, when, when I said to you in the video, that yeah. club head needs to track that right forearm up for you. Right. So it got, starts to go back and gets a little shallow. Then we lift it slightly, so we lose depth. So if I was to draw a line down from that, your hand, you can see how it would be sort of in the middle of your laces. Yeah. If we can get that at that point deeper, back, yeah. it gives you a chance, because on the way down, this is the one you miss hit, so it's not all like this, but then you still got that Look at that, that, that clubs it off me. That's the killer. That's that position there, P5. Hands of that, they've tracked out too much. If we talk about that, right? And this is a big part of these lessons for you to understand what, you know, you've got no chance from there. So if we look at your journey, club tracks back pretty good to here. And then you start to pronate, which is turn this arm, right. which rolls the club head inside and low. Okay. It can only go a certain amount that way before then what you do is you lift it and it crosses the line. Now, because essentially it's taking this journey to the top, there's only one way it's going to go on the way down, right. which is when the hands that called P5 get too far out. Right. So for you, today's lesson, if you can leave here with a better takeaway and a position at the top where you've got more hand depth through rotation, then if, if, you, if I go here, right, and I make no manipulation and just... A, a Hit the ball. Just come to here. Look how shallow that pitch of the yeah, shot is. Yeah, yeah. I haven't done anything. Yeah. Right. So really, most tall players, in my opinion, between the setup position and the top of the backswing, they set the alignments of the club face, of the wrist conditions, and of the um, of the forearms, okay? Right. So someone like John Rahm, he has a weak hold, he sets it here. DJ will set it here as well. Yeah. You've got someone like JT who sets it at the top. Essentially, they try and build in the structure on the way back. So the way down's easy. And then just fucking use the body and right. just rip the body out of the way. Where well, you've got too much to do, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think where we'll start with it, right, is I'm going to, you're going to set up, I'm going to come in, I'm going to put yeah, you Yeah, that's what I need you to do, because I feel like if I do that, I'm just going to come in with the tree. Yeah. Just yeah. so I feel a bit straighter on this. But yeah, that's, all, that's why online lesson, amazing. But I feel oh, like yeah. I need you to just physically, yeah. guys, yeah. that, this, this. Yeah. Right, so let's go. So, go a little further. Okay, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah. right, I'm setting up my grips. Yeah. You said, so. Get yourself as comfortable first. Seven, seven nine. So, a bit, that'll be a bit, I'll put it about a little bit forward in my stance here, yeah, about there. Yeah. I'm not aiming at the tree there actually. Now I am. Widen your feet a smidge so the shoulder width. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Comfortable. And again, if I look at a textbook and go. Will I be closer to the ball or? So to check your distance from the ball, distance from the ball in my opinion stays constant throughout, but yeah, yeah. because the club gets longer, you stand further away. So if you let your right hand hang off the club, again, we want the hand to hang directly off the shoulder, hanging next to the grip. That's in a natural position. Okay. Some players are a little further away, like Rory, so some players be... like Brahma are a little closer. It doesn't really matter that so much. So I need to be a little bit closer. So I don't, want it, I don't want you to be in a mindset that it has to be perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah it just needs to be ballpark. Yeah. Okay, that'll do. Yeah? Okay, good. So takeaway one, 
So we're, gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna diss that foot tap, right? I'm gonna get rid of that foot tap, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna put you in spots now, Yeah, right? yeah, so we're gonna go for so a this grip. is the takeaway, right? So yeah. Take away, the club moves as if we're almost throwing the golf club in a straight line. If you were gonna throw the golf club towards me, right? You'd move your arms a certain way, which is exactly there, perfect. So look at the ball. Yeah. So at this point, there's a few references for you. So the shaft is parallel to the ground and also parallel to your target line. Yeah. So you usually get in here like this, right, okay. which you can see you add this, don't you? Yeah, you yeah. add some ro rolling here. So we want to try and take the wrist out. We want the leading edge of the golf club to be perpendicular to your spine. So it changes person to person, but if you stand upright, this is 180 degrees to your spine. Yeah. The more front bend you add, that needs to go with it. Okay. okay. So that's your second reference. So yep. for you, it's going to feel like your right hand's more on top. Right, okay. Okay, so go again. So back in a straight line, stopping it parallel so to the parallel there, one. So you no, rolled that. I rolled that in there. Yeah, so let's do it together. Ready? One, two, three. Here. See, I've not rolled it. So my I'm right hand goes moving. up. Yeah, yeah. So it's almost going to feel like you're talking it that so way. So my right hand needs to, so I, know, I know what I mean. So it's Just a, bit. a little bit. Cool. There. And your hands stay a bit more in. So you're okay. not rolling out because if you were to let this left hand go outward, right? Naturally, what's that club going to do? Yeah, and go back over the top. In, isn't it? So right, keep so your hands in one line. So if I'm standing here, that's it, perfect. Really good. So there's position one. Yep. Now, the way you can check this, if I add nothing now, I'm going to hold your hand still, and you're just going to turn. The face is square, and we've got relevant shaft lean, which is yeah. what you see the tall players at. If you go back to where you normally go, where you let it kind of roll here, if you add nothing now, so face wide open. So you have to add stuff. Hey, which we're that's why to, you're trying to get it straight. Yeah, yeah. So we're trying to take that out. Okay. So for you, we're going to try and position that face and the wrist conditions where we want it. So if he wants to go there, don't let it go there. <laughs> okay. Right hand, palm faces down, it could be a nice feel for you. That's perfect. Yeah, so the, F, the foot choice sign kind of like... And you left, you like left hand feel better? Uh, you don't need no. to overdo that. I think right hand, right hand, palm on the, on the top. So ready? Together, slowly. Palm on the top of that. See how I'm adding nothing? Look, watch, I'm just actually adding zero, look. Don't okay. even do that much, just there. So my palm's pointing a bit back in it. Or down towards the floor, with the right side. On oh, my palm, right, okay. Right palm towards the floor. There you go, perfect. See that? Yeah. If you're not adding nothing, you're not adding a twist no, in see, here. Yeah, it's easy, isn't it? It's just like... It. So it's a one-piece move to hit. Perfect. Right, now, this is the bit that's going to feel the most different. Look at the ball. I'm going to put you in the perfect position, in my opinion, on the way back. Right. Okay. Okay. So here, don't move. Stay where you are. This will be on your camera anyway, but I'm going to show you how this looks, right? Don't move. Look at the ball. Okay, so if you look at this, can you see how the hands are now in line with that right heel? Yeah. Now, I've not asked you to pull your arms in or suck them in. No, no, it's quite It's yeah. just happened by you turning. So we've set the face at one. And you just turn. And just turn. Right, right? okay. So let's just try and get that button. you got a tea pick, couple of tea picks for a second? Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the next one up. All right. So I'm just going to pop it on a high tee because I don't really care about contact at the moment. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to put you in a spot. And swing through. Yeah, and then we're going to swing through. I want to get it on the camera. Can you hold two cameras for a second? Yeah. Yeah. Hold it. Stand. Let, can you try and put exactly there? I know it's it's all right. Don't worry about my phone. It'll just get that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just for this one. But I want to show him. Right. If you hold that. Just drop that down. down there. I know. So you got it? Yeah. Okay. So, so far. If we don't get it right first time, we can do it again. It's all good. Right. So from there. So one piece. You're not going to add anything. Right palm looks at the floor. Perfect. Keep your hands close to your right quad. Do not let. So you imagine there's a wall. Set yourself up. Put right. a wall here. Just swing back inside my arm, just gently. There, perfect. So that's tracked back straight, although it fills in, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, look at the ball. Turn. And then just chip. Chip it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Have a look at this. Okay, so. Hands, watch yeah, your hands yeah. they just track straight, although they feel in. They're just going normally, look at that, perfectly. Yeah. So now the face is perpendicular to your spine. Yeah. So then all I do is I come in and turn you to a position where the hands are deeper, right? right. So that, that leg need to be a little bit, bit bent. I'm gonna lock my left, right leg. Uh, the right leg will straighten because our hips turn on an inclination because we bend forward, right? Yeah. So the right hip works up. If the right hip turns unrestricted and works up, that's gonna straighten. It's not yeah. gonna lock out. Yeah, yeah. A great person to look at is DJ. It doesn't lock out. Doesn't Keep look it. out, but you have to straighten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But watch the difference in your downswing, look. Oh yeah, it's fucking without even doing anything it. yet. It's just a sequence thing, yeah. You pull one more, bud. I'm just gonna see if I can get the top that position without. Yeah, let's not run before we can walk. You'll struggle. You can try. Yeah. And I was gonna see if I like, anywhere near it. Okay, it's just set. Don't let it roll in. Keep it here. So again, perfectly Closer. to that club on the floor, yeah. Much better in the takeaway. Really good. Just and then that. from there. Yeah. And then it ha this does nothing. Just turn the seam line. Beautiful. Hit it. Look at the shape. 
Fucking hell, did you hear the strike? And it's shallow, and it's shallow draw, yeah? Lovely, mate. Try and get one, just there, two then. Try and just get one with that look, just so I can put a shot tracer on it. Have a look at this. So on your own, pretty good. Let me just make sure it's the right one. Yeah, it's the right one. So, face is good. Is that me or you? Did you, did you, oh no, you didn't do it. I didn't press record, but yeah, you didn't press record, did you? That's why I was lying. Yeah, it's my bad. It's what? all right. Bad. Sorry, bro. So, fuck. That can't do it again now. It's all right. No, don't, no, don't worry, do it again. Yes, you can. Good. Keep it nice and high so we're not worried about contact, yeah? Even higher than that. Just because we're just going to keep yeah. it off. Yeah. I'll record it as you see if you can do it on your own. Yeah. yeah. You. Right, you get the proper angle for the thing, I'll be behind you. Good. So, hands stay inside, they don't go out. Perfect. That's perfect. A little bit more set in that right wrist as you do it. Stop. Too long. Parallel to the ground only, guys. So just sharp, parallel to the ground. There. It's all done now. So reference. Oh, so you. don't like go past here. On your set, on this drill, no. So your reference, right? Is my left quad. It should yeah, be all. It should your be left all hand it. gets to the outside of your quad. Okay. Yeah. So go to here. See, it's on the outside of your quad. Yeah. yeah no yeah. more than that. Don't right. get too wide. Okay, when you're ready, bud. It's a little inwards, that was a little in. Remember, imagine if you're swinging towards us on the camera. Stop. Good. Now turn. Stop at the top. Hit. Not bad. A little bit too much effort, but pretty good. Where'd it go? Straight. Oh, just, just right at the tree. So, face is defi definitely different, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so the palm feels this way. Yeah, yeah I try to do that. Yeah. That means, right, when you do that, just to break it down, when you're here, you can then apply pressure down the way. floor. Yeah, yeah. Well, when you get it this way, you, you're you're forever throwing that yeah, right you side. Can't, yeah. You're not hitting down, are you? Way better at the top. But I put a bit too much. Effort. And it's because it's, it's, it's still starting from the top. Yeah. But if you even look at the, if I even do. still look at how much more shallow that is there. Yeah. So if I if I, just, if I push left a bit forward first. Yeah. Because remember, again, let's talk about what we discussed. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so if, if, if I get ball, the, yeah, to the top. If, if I get there, so we're gonna go. So, yes, it's, it's just good. that was good. So your reference is here, and this is perpendicular to that. Yeah. So it's not getting this way. Yeah, so target line will be... Very good. Look at the ball. Yeah. Turn. So nothing's happened. And then now, your old back. move, yeah, your old move, is, you'd spin this way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and now so a rotational force is, is in which direction? It's that way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right, so which is going to send the hand path out. Which you would want an element of that, but you want a, a nice move into the left side at the same sort of time. So it's there. Turn to the top. So if you, it's going to feel like that. Just a, and one inch. Yeah. Left shoulder gets over your left toe as a sensation. That'll give the hands time to, to drop, drop in the slot. Then spin like mad. Right, okay. Yeah, like, to be fair, it's basically, it's just that first movement and then turn. So the way we're going with you is, you, you're someone who had a lot of manipulation and relied really, you have a high level of skill, good hands, Good coordination. So what you did is you had millions of variables where you were you were turning it off the ball, you were lifting it in, you were getting steep, and then last minute you were sucking your ass under and figuring it out. Yeah. yeah. So we're basically trying to say, right, we're going to try and pull that out. We're yeah, trying yeah. to preset a position. It may over time we may not like presetting it here. Yeah. We might want to do it at position three, which is left arm power. Yeah. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah. This is the way we're trying to take out all the shit that was going on before and reduce the manipulation. So in one line towards the camera. Here. Okay. okay, so I'm still getting a bit. So if I stand here, keep the clubhead outside my legs. Oh, really? Yeah, clubhead just tracks on my, that's it, that's it. Don't roll your hand there. Perfect. So oh, the sensation, oh, no, the way you were was good, but it's gonna feel, all it's gonna feel like you do, right? Let me just break it down. So from the, from the ball, so yeah. when your hands reach the inside of your thigh, nothing happens. One line, look, see that? And then from here, there's a slight softening. That's all it is. Okay. It's just gentle. So one line, perfect. Right, that's just, good. Just lift that's up. it one, that's it one. So let's try and hit a couple now. Yeah. Nice and soft, so on your own. Um, nice and slow. Perfect, so you've added nothing. Look at the ball, nice turn. Gently turn, go. Nice, <laughs> start line was solid, face was a degree open, love it. Okay. That would not have been nowhere near as steep as it was previously. Let's do it again. I'm gonna do some reps now. Yeah. I'm gonna keep with the drill before we go to a full shot. Stand an inch further away, bud. Okay, perfect. Again, check that, hand hangs off. I've stood you further away, see how that hangs there? Yeah. Occasionally you get a little in. If you get a little in, you reduce room. If you reduce room, it get can a little, make- Get a little in, what do you mean, like? Yeah, if you get, go back to where you were, where you're a bit closer, right? Occasionally, you're a bit like here, let your hand hang off your shoulder, it wants to hang out here. So you're having to pull your arm in. Right, so I want to be- So we want it to be your hand, there you go, perfect. Okay, 
big weight here. Really good, not any more than that. Feel that? Look at the ball. You good? Feel there? Let's keep going. Turn and go. Good. <sighs> Make it still open, don't worry. Yep. Just rein it in a little bit. Rein in the effort a smidge. You just from this drill, 40%. Right, okay. Just to try and get the slots. I want to have a look at this one camera. A bit further away. But you're aiming a little left now. It's like you're almost aiming. So move your look at your toes in relation to that stick. That left toes further back from that one. Can you see the gap? Yeah. So drop that back a smidge. There you go. A bit more. Perfect. That's good. That's is that aligning that? Mm -hmm. I'm shit with alignment. That's one thing I'm bad at. That is that is to me that to me is so wonky. Yeah, it's not. So start start again and then I'll Fucking hell. So club base down first. Good. That's good. Move your right foot back a tiny bit. There you go. Good. Okay. So try and get the position as close as you can at the start. Position one. Really, really good. Now just turn and just <laughs> I can't help but try and whack it. <laughs> yeah, you know, Takeaway is perfect, right? Then when you get to the top, you don't get the turn properly, so you lift. See how it gets the lift? So we've got to try and take your hands out of it from here to there. Because you get a little high, look at the hands there, a bit further, and then it gets a little out again. Yeah. That's the key. So we're going to do it. Now just rotate, and then, and then you want to match the stick on the floor. Okay, I love the shape. Look at it. Good Slightly shallow. Yeah. And that's when... We yeah, left off. horizontal on the left side, but that's absolutely fine right now. Absolutely fine right now. <sighs> but like I said, basically, well, the simple version of what we've done today is basically all I'm thinking about now is two things. Well, three things. Yep. First is going to be my takeaway. So now I'm just close to my body to, well, I say there, it'll be, yeah. Perfect. And, and there. The way your reference is, before you just, I know you feel that. But yeah, and then my shoulder will go. Yeah, perfect. And then it'll come. Down on, down on the club path absolutely and the ball goes straight like you feel like it's not going to go straight i think that's the hard thing to get used to but do that same little seg three segments so and then two stop at two stop and then down on the stick uh, it's all right that's your left side coming up absolutely fine look yeah. at this i just want to i just want to reinforce it with video to show you that the shape is where we want it right you yes. just and watch this down swing so pure. Yeah. Now the reason you topped it is because your left side is so used to coming out of the shot. So we're going to try and keep that down longer. So not down longer, but like. Okay, so let's give you the so, sensation, right? So I'll give you the feel. So I don't want to overcomplicate it, but just get yourself up and then turn. Now, as we start to come down this way and we move, and as we rotate the body, can you feel how you're now a lot more what we call in side bent? So this right side, your obliques are crunching down a bit. Yeah, I'm not really. I'm. A, I, I'm you a, come up out of it. So a little sensation you can have, very simple sensation. As we're working back, right, and then we turn, we keep the left shoulder low, okay? Yeah. As you strike the ball, and you, you're coming down this way, I want you to feel like the right shoulder's lower than normal. See how that keeps you more in front bend yeah. and side bend? So you feel a lot more over it, don't you? You're never gonna top the ball from there, you're gonna crunch it, right? Yeah. But you weren't able to do that before, I'm a because if you're over here, set yourself up, if you do what you did before, you're this way, and then you were here on the way down, if you went like that, look where you'd hit the ball. Yeah. Yeah, so you're just reacting. So if you want to, if you want to not thin it, just feel like that right shoulder works. Look, look at me under your chin as you strike it. Sit, turn up. That right shoulder works under your chin. Go. Okay. There you go. So there's your contact. But then what did you do to the calf as you do that? Because as your right shoulder works under your chin, it's going left. it increases rotation. This is why I'm saying to you, don't worry about it, because it will start making you come across it. Right. But you sure. asked me how to stop. Thinning it. Yeah, yeah. So I think just let your body react. To naturally start doing You're athletic that. enough to react to it. So just focus on this piece. Okay. And just let it work its way in, yeah? Love it. Look at the shape. Love it. Love it. Little yeah. push draw. Beautiful. Try it with some bigger clubs. Yep. I don't tilt back. I set up like an iron. <laughs> so let's, let's, get, let's get this right. So get yourself as you would normally set up. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> Widen your right foot. And I'll literally do that. Widen your right foot a smidge. That's okay where you are. Just add a smidge of. So hold the club up like this. Hold the club like this. Right. So in your obliques, right, you want to crunch down about 15 degrees with the driver. So you just want to feel like you're crunching this right side, not too much, and then you maintain as you bend forward. So it's going to feel like you're adding a little bit of elevation in the shoulder. So your left shoulder slightly high. That's going to help us with our angle of attack. Yeah. Okay. So you want to swing up with the driver. Okay. That's it. Perfect. 
now, same swing. Right, let me just put you in the spot and then we'll hit one. So we'll do it in this, we're just gonna do a drill. Good. Again, look at the ball, turn, and then on that swing, go on. There you go. <laughs> now it's gonna take some to get into this. Look at the shape. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was you pushed my body. That was even, sure though, wasn't it? Yeah, that was shape wise. That was even me like actually it's doing it. It's never ever gonna be fade bias from there, yeah? Yeah. You can see that was a nice high draw, but it's just now you need to do it on your own. So this is where like, I can't give you the reps, you need to go and grind it, yeah? yeah? Which I know you will do. But as long as you've got the clarity in your mind of where you need to be. So you add the crunch in the right side of your oblique, so that's it. Now, nice and smooth, perfect. And then remember, left side with the driver, it's really important to maintain depth with the driver. Turn around and then under. Oh, draw, nice. That's pure, bro. That's absolutely pure in training. That is the opposite to what you do on the course. Yeah, so I'm literally getting more common. Just start out with and nice. Can you just see how much more powerful that is? Yeah, well. Behind you, behind you. Well, yeah, even that is, I was like, not even that hard of a goal, it's carrying 260. Like, is that carrying 260 into that puff? Yeah. Is that, is that, is that normalised or is that just tracking? Tracking the ball? What do you mean normalised? It's got two settings, isn't it? It's got normalised or it's got, so an indoor setting. Oh, I don't know, I have to have a look. That is, if you get that 260 into this wind, that's a decent thing. You might have to have a look in the settings. It doesn't really matter too much. Again, it, I'm not really bothered about performance at the moment in terms yeah, of- Yeah, yeah, I'm just- You're swinging it at 109. Let's get, a video, let's get a video of this one. Go on then, so set it up, get the right side in front. Try and do it together, or try and do it on your own now. Just make sure you track that club on the floor into the ball. So load it, turn, and then under. It's good. Turn, turn, turn. Really good. Look at that, bro. Fucking hell. Oh, shit. That's cool. Yeah, I swear all the fucking time. Yeah, but, oh, you can swear on... That's part of my YouTube channel. That's nice. I always go, fuck, in this and fucking... How that feel? Yeah, really good. I'm going to see what the... Out of interest, what the... Interest. Yeah, in about one day. But I, I felt like a... I powered through it, but on that line. So was it, it wasn't, it wasn't armsy. It might, get video on your phone, we'll do it slow more. I want, I want to see, cause I feel like it's still a bit armsy, but. Bro, you're not going to be perfect in one. Yeah, and I feel like you can get away with it more. All right, sorry mate. You're all right. Get the crunch in, very important. Right side, there. Yeah, that's good. And then around, and then on that stick. Where'd he go? That is a fucking, look at that. It's coming down now, like just left that 150 sign. Now. Oh yeah, it's a bomb, high draw. That, that must feel good, yeah? That felt mint, yeah. There you go, bro, look. I, I think it's easier, so I think it's easier with driver than it is irons. <laughs> yeah, well, it, well what, because the club's longer, longer right? it's like longer, it's easier to get shallow, yeah. but. So look at this, so you're now not rolling it, club base is better. That's very good. Look at the hands behind the heel. Yeah. There you go. It's fucking good, man. So that's, that's, my, good, that's my Instagram bro. video, just the bomb of the driver. What did that carry? I'll send you that. That's very good. What did that carry, I wonder? Let's try a bit more like a, like a forward or something. Let's see what I can get, like different clubs. I just want to get, you know what I mean? I want to have, have a... Yeah, no, again, try not to... <sighs> yeah, do want more? Nah, sorry. Try not to... Um, a forward's a different... Like, yeah, obsessive, it has to be perfect. You just need to make sure... Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Got your forward in. Yeah. yeah. She's like, this is basically brand new, isn't it? Do you even hit this? They are brand new, really. And to be fair, no, I don't hit that. I don't hit that much. But this, mate, this fucking bombs this club. Have a go at this in a second. I love it because like you can see the face of it. Is it? It's a uh, sixteen and a half. Yes, it goes quite high. It freaking flies. I'll hit that with my nose. Not hit the ball very high. It goes like two fifty or two sixty or something. Well, two fifty, but not. Same shape, bro. Same shape. No crunch on this one. Which no, no. Um, well, here's, let's just talk about that. So if you're off the deck, you want to hit it like a five iron. So you want to hit ball in a little bit of turf. But if you're so you off a tee. If it's downwind and you want to fly it, yeah, add a bit. But you could, again, be experiment with it. Even with a driver, right, when you get really good at delivering it from the inside, if you want to hit a little bit lower, you'll add a little bit right, less right bend, yeah? Yeah. So I'll try, I'll try it without it. Yeah, try, add a little bit, tint, little tinny. That's it, yeah. Just get the shape right. So it's one, that's like a Xander Sofe feel. Yeah, and then around you, through rotation, and then under. Sure. Slightly open face, but that's lovely. A 56 for the other one. So, just talk to be fair, what have we been... Yeah, we're looking at a pitch. No, for, uh, just a full shot. Actually, it's, uh, yeah, uh, 
56, 100 yards in it. So like, so, how, yeah. you want to be 100 yards in, you want to be right, right, I'm going to hit the green here, easy, 56. Hop, hop, you're five. If you're missing the green from 100 yards, you've got a problem. Well, that's what I mean, I, I, I do some rounds. <laughs> okay. But then I get up and down, it just saves us. Okay, so, let, so let's, yeah, so let's try and, so it's exactly Up and down, if you're watching in my, uh, one of the vlogs, there's one where I've got like 11 up and downs. I did see that. To you save pause. Score, yeah. That was 76. I mean, if I'd missed any one of them chips or puts, that was 11 over. That's not. But I, had, but I luckily had five rounds of that. I went from like a nine hand yeah, to a five. That. Exactly, yeah. it was pure luck. And now I'm back shooting 85. Just go play someone. And if I have a bad round, I'm going to fucking chance playing off five. You I'm hitting the ball like that. All right, Woody, Woody, let's, let's now, let's just see the exact same shape with the, with the, um, with the, with the wedge. So to start with, let's do the drill. So don't go straight into a full shot. Do the drill first. So put it in segment one. Look at that. Hold on. Really good in terms of the face, but remember, right quad. <laughs> All right, too yeah, hard. So don't get too wide with it. Really good. Then turn up and then follow that stick. Little thin, but neutral. But straight, yeah. Yeah. So if you, and want that's to be less thin, if you want to be less thin, as you turn up, just make sure the left side goes a smidge lower. Okay. Yeah. So do it again. Same thing. But the shape was good, right? You're on the green there. Yeah. Yeah. Do it again. Widen the feet a smidge as well because you get a bit narrow. Okay, and slightly in front. Okay, so this one you're going to focus on the left shoulder going down a bit more as you turn up and then hit. And then it's a little bit better strike, yeah? That is literally how simple it is, bro. Yeah. You just got to, all I want you to understand here yeah, between like your first proper session is the matchups. Yeah. Okay, now I know when I rolled, okay, your left arm goes away and rolled, left shoulder goes which way? Goes up. Yeah which causes the inward piece. And then, as long as you can connect the dot. But that's just gone, them two have gone like, cause it's not really, I mean, it can go wrong, but there's not too much can go wrong with a 50 fucking six degree wedge, surely. Well, it's start line. You're not gonna curve it loads, but if you can't get that face alignment correct, you're gonna block it. Yeah, yeah. So widen your feet, wider, wider, that's it, right. You get very narrow with your wedges again, which could causing, so that feel really wide for you. Yeah. Go even wider, just so I can show you something. There, that's it, that's where you should be. Okay. I want to show you, I've got a picture of that. So go ahead and hit this one now. This will help you with contact as well. Remember from that segment, don't change anything. Turn around and the left shoulder stays low as you do it. And then match the stick on the floor. Okay, left shoulder came up. Yeah, up here, aren't I? You feel it, yeah? Oh, Have yeah. a look at this though, in terms of the setup. So if I, if I just keep my head down a little bit longer, will that oh, help? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Worst piece of advice in golf for anyone. If you keep your head down, all that does is prevent your body from turning. Which we want to happen. It's yeah, mad, so it's the it? worst piece of advice ever. That's you with feeling like you had really wide feet. See the shoulder width? Yeah, no, When you get really narrow, yeah, it prevents movement. We, yeah. And we, we want to be able to pressure, pressure shift, yeah? It's good. Yeah, good. Love it. Turn, staying low. Nice. And follow the stick on the floor. Okay, dead straight, slightly thin. Let's try and hit some now without the drill. Because the drill, again, you're taking out momentum. So you're not expecting to rip it with the drill. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. just three yeah, three. Let's hit some proper shots again. I hope it all sinks in. And boy, it will sink in. Just like you did with the driver, just making sure that we focus on the downswing on that stick. Yeah. Putting everything together, yeah? Good. Yeah. Put it all together. There you go, slight push, but Fucking hell, look how high it's gone. <laughs> Shallow mean. I've never hit a 56 degree wedge at high in my life. Well, because- You can actually hold green now. Because I feel like- Yeah, because you go this way. Because <laughs> you're not hitting down there properly, I guess. That is so, that is, that was so weird to see how high that went. Focusing it all together. Get that turning, keep it under. <sighs> yeah. Feel it. So this one, take a practice swing where you brush the ground ahead of the ball. That's the contact dish, the drill that we've got to do. Put it all together. Yep. And then, and then hit the ground ahead of the ball. There you go, even more. So come on, let's get the ground. Come on, take a divot. So you're gonna have to stay low with the left side. Go on, there you go. So you're only just brushing it there. Yes, I want way more contact. I'm, I'm talking like this level of contact when you're brushing the ground, yeah? So there's my, there's my target, watch. Taking a divot. Yeah, don't be afraid to get there. I'm just, it's hard to do fast now. There you go. That was still slightly early, but that was close. That's how much ground you want to hit. 
on a wedge, you can press it nicely, get your feet a bit wider. Okay. Make sure you come under on the way down. Start again. Uh, spot on there, by the way. Nice. And then turn. <laughs> I can't stop doing that. Really good. Face was a little, so that one's exactly the same. We get the face a little bit better. Is that everything else the same? Nothing ever changed. So, can you picture Justin Thomas's swing? Like, do you watch any much golf? Yeah, yeah, and he's like... So what does he do before he swings every shot? Does what I've just done there. Does that rehearsal, right? And that's because he's trying to go get the club in a certain position, just a feel thing. So before you play, just do it once. Build it in one feel and then, then go. Then hit, yeah. Yeah, no more than one though. Let's not get too overdone it. So this one, we're going to get a little bit more closed. It went a little right, that one. So we're going to adjust to that. So one feel of it a little bit more. Good. And then we're going to hit it with that feel now. Really good. Now, do you notice how it's drawn back? Do you notice how yeah, it's really weird, right? When you get stronger in the face, it goes less left. Yeah. And the reason for that is because the face is now positioned in such a way where your body subconsciously really I ain't got, I ain't got to close it no more. Yeah. I can just turn. So it's like, it, it, you're not going to start pulling it or slicing it because your body's yeah. not going to be reacting that same, same and way. Let's, I'm just going to, I know it's trying to do this, but low irons are a pain in the ass for everyone, aren't they? You mean like four iron or whatever? Six iron or whatever. Even a six iron for me is a foot and a bit of an iron. Right. If you do the same swing as you've been doing. It'll be, it'll that's be what I mean. It'll be interesting to see a six iron. <laughs> Again, making sure that we put everything wide in the feet. Even wider? Yep, just there. Perfect. Okay, put it all together. So segment one, do the drill first, put it in the segment one. So you're gonna go there, then you're gonna, all you're gonna do is turn up yeah. and focus on tracking that stick in there, okay? Yep. Okay, do segment one. I don't care about contact to start with, so don't, let's not worry about contact. Perfect, we're gonna put it in the segment and stop there. We're gonna start there, come on. Good, now from there, turn up and then swing on that stick on the way down. Oh my God, that is fucking unbelievable. Welcome to the big leagues, brother. How's that? Yeah, class. Pure, right? Yeah. Small draw. That's that's that it is that is it right there. Who? Right so <laughs> definitely putting that in. No, do not. <laughs> We're definitely put don't. the shot of a mute it or something. <laughs> I can't mute it. Sorry. Right. So for me, that was a really good lesson. We're in the car on the way home now, and I'm, my head's not mangled. I haven't got a, a million things in my head. I'm taking away three things really. Um, the first part of my swing, which I used to I used to roll my wrists, are now straight back and get that club in position. You've seen that in the video. Literally turn my body and then have a bit more depth in my, in my arms on the backswing and then come across that club on the floor. And honestly, the, str the, the difference is amazing. Next video is gonna be, uh, we're gonna go on the golf course we're going to play 18 holes with them new feelings just to see what the hell happens because the hardest thing about having a lesson is then transitioning to a get to a to a golf course so next stop the golf course hope you've enjoyed the video like subscribe and yeah i'll see you fuckers next time